What's up guys, it's Kector. Today, Yi, the Yiling Gatriarch, is going to teach me how to draw. Yay, hi guys. Okay, so it's just Hualien, right? <laughs> yeah, just just casual Hualien, you know. I don't know how to okay. draw at all. <laughs> you saw my like... Procreate open screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to expose you, but it's funny. <laughs> I'll just do like an easier one, aka like headshots. So like for okay. starting, I usually I like circles like this first. I usually use like my studio pen because that's the closest thing I have to the one I use in Clip Studio. And like just basically just do like circles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we got we got this. Oh, that... Draw a circle, circle. Like okay, I can redo it. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, that's what I usually do is start with to map out where the head is. What angle do you want? Like, front, three-fourths, or side? You you choose. You um, are Shizun today. I am your disciple. I'm the Shizun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably just do three-fourths because I find it the easiest. So, I usually, I, I like a line here to, like, lines here because, because so they're facing each other. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then that's to, like, map where the bottom of that line was going to be where the chin is. And then to get the bottom half of the face, I usually add like a, like a line down here. Okay. And then next one's like connect the bottom of that line to the bottom of the um, <laughs> bottom of the left line down okay. to the bottom of the center line. And then- Okay, okay. So I do another line here to the bottom of that's like a straight line here. <laughs> and then, like, you don't need to do that. I'll okay. just like for references. Um, and then connect the chin to the the other line. Oh, oh, I see. A face is is yeah, coming. Yeah, that's like the head shape outline for the ears. There's like just above, like the right one, and to like the top here. Do like this shape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I, that was pretty good. And then like do something similar for the other one, except the opposite way. So like, I start here, like just under the circle, and then okay, here, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we got this. We. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's so... like. Oh, his jaw is gonna be so wide. <laughs> <laughs> um. If okay. You're like... How am I doing? You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> And then put like the ears on the other side and like the similar position. Okay. Okay, now at the neck and then like the <laughs> other body. Usually I start at like here at the bottom of the ear down to like, yeah, here. Like around once for this drawing, it's gonna be like one centimeter under the chin, like this. And then. It will like slope Ooh, a bit. Okay. For my style, it's gonna slope a bit outwards, like this. Okay. And then for the other one, like right here under the chin. And yeah. Okay. It's a pretty sexy neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> just continue this onwards, like sloping downwards here. Okay. And then the other side. So it's gonna be like the midway point between the bottom of the neck and like the chin. It's gonna like slope almost horizontal, like barely any slope. Okay, okay. And then usually, this is just something I personally do. I just add like a line like this to show the direction of the torso because I haven't added the shoulders yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, see these are these are the industry tips. Industry <laughs> tips. <laughs> yeah, these are like the outline parts. <laughs> okay, so the other side do the same thing except in reverse. <laughs> do you want Shilian or Hwatsung to be in the front? <laughs> um you choose. Okay, I see more makes more sense for Shilian to be in the front, I think. Because he's shorter. Okay. Here I'll add like the other line. So the shoulder start where the head ends and then take half of the head and like measure it like on this side and then that'll be where the shoulder is 
around here. Okay, wait, wait. So from from the head, okay. you do half of the head so, like, down, see, and like, that's the, where the shoulder should end. The yeah. radius okay, that makes of the sense. circle, yeah. and then on the outside, and then move it down. You think I know math? <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Okay, but yeah, half of so half of the or the radius is where it should come down, yeah. kind of thing. Okay, okay. Pretty much, yeah. That's good to know. Because like I think the shoulders are supposed to be, like. The torso is supposed to be two heads wide. No, that's cool. I love that. I would have never, ever known something like that. Anatomy tips. Yay. <laughs> and then the same thing for the other side. Like, side profiles are a bit harder. Because, like, it's going to be different. But for, like, I think it's going to be the same for front three-fourths. <clears throat> okay, you got okay. the outline. So... Go press like the end button, go to like the top right and press layers and then press N and then move the opacity down to like, yeah, just like move it down and then add a new layer because that's, that was the outlines. So I usually don't do this step, but that will be helpful for you. So I just, okay. <laughs> the next one is like the sketch step because I usually just go to, to line art directly sketch. Like the outline of the head. Okay, so we're trying to make it make it better, but it can still be a little... Yeah, it's a bit messy. It's okay. Most artists do this stuff. <laughs> but you're built different. I only do that because I need to be fast. <laughs> like, it's okay to just, like, do, like, short lines. And also, it can... It's okay to, like, go past it because you can erase it later. Okay, so... I usually start with the nose first. So I, on like this place where it like, connects, I put the base of the nose here. And then it's gonna like extend slightly outwards. How do I explain where the nose okay. ends? It's gonna be double the length of the bottom one for what I, for drawing men. <laughs> okay. And you gotta get a little sexy slope in there. Yeah. And then like for me, I'll add like a nose bridge here. But that's like totally optional. So this is gonna be a hot suck, so I don't need to worry about the other eye. <laughs> Perfect. Usually for the eye, I'll just start like here and the, let me judge the length. Okay, the same length as like the uh, longer part of the nose, I think. I'm gonna do like slope, two slopes here, like a smaller slope up and then like, yeah, that's good, that's good. Nice. And then just like add a bit more because that's like that classic anime eye look. Hell yeah. I don't know how to explain the length of this, but like just like really close. I'm like <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> really close and like Just do it just really like close. It. Okay. Yeah. And then like connect it here. And then add like Ooh. the wings. Okay. Winged eyeliner. Yeah. Yeah. He gotta look slay. Yeah. And then for the pupils. I'll just have him should I have him look at Shillian? Yeah. Okay, so just like connect these two here, like the um, bottom part, and then just move it up in like this way. Little curve line there. Yeah, like connect it. Okay. And then in like the center, do another curve line the opposite. Okay. So for the eyebrow, just like it's on the same height as the top of the nose bridge. So just like. And since he's looking at his beloved, make the eyebrows like slope downwards a bit. Oh, so he's like, oh like, Yeah. And then also add like some width in like the, um, this part. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I actually, you actually made the eyes too close. <laughs> so, um, grab this tool, like the third one, and then like circle around the eyes. Okay. And then like move it slightly this way. Yeah, you're good now. You're good now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Perks of digital art. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's gonna be smiling. So start here and go down to like here. It's gonna start here. I'm gonna end at the tip of the nose or bridge with the smile. I feel like I can never do mouths in a way that looks normal. So you went down from like the middle of the eyeball kind of thing. Yeah, like the pupil down around here, like, or maybe like a bit less. And then the smile is gonna go until the end of the nose bridge, like here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and then, then actually, let's just do the ears first. Just like trace the outline. But, like, don't add this okay. part. 
like that's connecting the circle to the base. Yeah, that's good. I feel like my jaw is too wide. Should I draw my jaw thinner? Um, he's like Hua Chad right now. <laughs> Hua Chad. <laughs> like, should I bring um, this like left line in or something? Well, you can like rotate it a bit, like so it faces like this way instead of like straight down. Like that. Yeah, I think around like that. Even more. <laughs> that. Um, I think like the um. Thing is now too low. Oh, where it like connect? Okay. Yeah, where it's like like slopes. that. Yeah, I think that's good for the hair. There's like a forehead part here for Huachong. Okay, it forehead. Be, like, uh, okay. This head starts for like two double this distance. It's like one, two. Okay. All these magical tips. And then, honestly, I'm making these up as I go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think about this when I draw. Oh, well, that's because okay, you're an so, artist. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So for the hair, there's going to be like, for his part, it's going to be like this way. So all of like the hair is going to come out of this section here. This is the sexy like bang volume. Yeah. I had like the, um, the way I draw Watsang, it starts like, I do like this. It's going to like curl inwards. See, that's, that's hot. It's all about the volume and the bangs. Yes. And uh, also this, you don't need to make it like too clean. It's okay to like, just sketch it out. Okay. And then uh, I got like another larger bang here that goes outwards. I love how I've drawn Ooh, okay. so many times. I don't need a reference. Okay. So he's got like a little piece with his nose yeah, there. Yeah. And then like, I just connect it here. Like that. Okay. After that, I think I add like this thing here. Another yeah. little sexy flippy. Like this goes inwards. I add like another bang inwards like this. I will erase this part because it's now in the hair. Like this one goes in front oh, I of see. this one. Yeah, like this, oh, this got part it, got it. is on top. So the next part, I have, he has like the bead thing, right? So I just add like on his shoulder here. And then the basic is just, I just literally just connect it like this. Ooh, okay. This is a, a serious Hua Chung hack. Yeah. This is a load-bearing bead in his hair. <laughs> yeah. Like, I sometimes add, like, some accessory, like, some tops of hair outside because for spice. But, like, that's not necessary. Okay. Um, I love then, the like, spice. I just add, like, the... You don't need to connect it because it's gonna be covered by shitty and shoulder. So just I like this. Because it's gonna like this light thing's gonna poof out. Oh right, okay. Alright, and then now the other side. So I literally just add like the same thing <laughs> on the hair. Oh, let me erase this. <laughs> the guidelines. So, like, here. Okay. <laughs> and that. Hey, your thing's actually coming out pretty nicely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <And> you. <laughs> I usually go down to the same height as the other side first. And then that's, like, in front of the ear. And then I just do two things at the end. Um, I'll just erase the cover stuff covered by hair first. And now it's time for like the back part. Just past the year. Just like add like straight line. Ooh. It's gonna, okay, okay. And then like maintain like you know the hair part is gonna like cave a slightly inwards here. And then okay. it's just gonna like connect that part. And then like just like have an even thing around the um, circle. Okay, look at that. Oh my God. Yeah. No freaking way. <laughs> and then after that, like, it's gonna slope back slightly here with like a slight gap between these two. 
Okay. Okay, and then after that, I'll just add the eye patch. It's just gonna be like where the eye is. Like here and here. It's like two small ass lines. Okay. And then like that. It just for the eye patch <laughs> thing. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Yeah. We'll be on with clothes. So like. Can like draw the full neck first because that's like the sketch but like the bottom part is gonna be have to be erased because of the clothes so i'll just do this really simple regular outfit because it's easier <laughs> so for hanfu the left one's always over the right one so okay this is good to like know start here because apparently if it's right over left it's for dead people so okay so like here I'm like, I was on the wrong tool. And then like, slightly outside the neck, here. And can you erase what's inside? Okay. And then do the other side. It's like, like this. And then you can connect. I was on the wrong tool. Um, you can connect these down, like as like a circular motion thing. Okay. Like okay. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then for like the shoulders, just like go around it, and like just like sketch over it. Boom! Oh my god. So. A small detail I usually add like another line around here. It doesn't even like fully connect like that. Okay, okay. Alright, so that is watch up now for Shedian. So I just basically do the same thing with the head. Just like sketch over it. I feel like I, and then... I the jaws I'm I'm so bad at do making the <laughs> jaws look normal. And that's like the sexiest <laughs> part of the foundation. You're, you're getting there, you're getting there. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, do the same thing for the nose. Like, it's gonna start at the bottom here, and then go up for a bit, and then double the length with the small bridge. Should I make Shelly like, really happy or the same expression as Watson? Really happy. Okay. So the mouth is gonna be a bit harder this time. But the eyes are going to be a lot easier. <laughs> oh, I see. No, wait, no. Let's do harder eyes. I want to learn how to draw eyes properly. Okay, so I'll just do like the like wide-eyed happy. You got this. You got this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Like, okay. Okay. So for mouths, it has to start a bit closer to the nose, like this. It's going to look too high up right now, but it's it wait okay. But just trust me, bro. <laughs> and then like because it's going to go down. So the um, lowest part of the smile should go down, touch the uh, line, and it's supposed to slope okay. downwards. For teeth, just like do the outline of the mouth, like here, it's like pretty close to the top. And then the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I Ooh, can okay. do. I can't okay. really explain okay. it. Yeah, you fill in like the the back yeah. kind of corners of the mouth. Yep, yep. And then for the eyes, because there's two eyes, I have to do both at the same time. Because drawing one eye first and the other one is just hard to match. So I start like the top okay. row first one. It's gonna be like more wide eyed. Because you want the eyes open. And then do both eyes. There have to be like the left eye is gonna be slightly longer than the right eye. And then do like the bottom. It's gonna be like slope. Another circle. Like this. Like I don't know, half half circle thing. Does mine look okay? Your this eye is a bit too low. So you can just do okay. this tool and then move it. <laughs> Move, Move it, like, it up a bit upwards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it good there? Okay. 
Yeah, I think so. Wait, no, I think you have to move it like this way a bit. Okay, okay. The perks of digital art. <laughs> Okay, okay. And then, so do the pupils. I'm just gonna have him look at Watson. So this is gonna be a bit harder. You just have to actually draw the full circle. Okay, oh, okay. You can just have like, the this one line up with the bottom of the end. And then the eyebrows are gonna be a bit higher because the eyes are wider. So it's gonna like start upwards and it's like slope down. And then the same thing for the other side. And I usually just connect the nose bridge to the eyebrow. Okay, up here. Okay, I'll just add the ear really quickly. <laughs> yeah, and then, so for Shilian, he has like a center part. So I usually like do like the forehead thing with the this time is different because Shilian's eyebrows are a bit higher, so you can't really do the two things. So it's gonna be 1.5. Right. Okay, okay. I so like the. Don't want him to be bal balding. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna have like both of these start like this. Firstly, I draw his hair. It's gonna go a very slight S like this. Okay. And then it's gonna go inwards and then out again and then the same s and then just connect it yeah and then do the same thing for the other side boots Oh, this one might be like a bit shorter here because it's on the other side. Oh, by the way, is supposed to be in front of Watson, I think. Oh, okay. So it should like go over his hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why does he look like that? Wait! <laughs> 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 I fucked something up, man. I fucked something up. Oh, uh, I think the um, the one here is a bit too high on yours. Like this part. Oh yeah, okay. Like this? Is that better? <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> and the next one, I like from here. It's gonna like inwards, and I'm, like it's gonna go behind, like around here. I don't know why I do this, but it works. <laughs> it's a, a sexy then, little flippies. And oh, then my. the other side. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be smaller than the other side this three-fourths view okay and then after that i'll add like the hair things here see the hair i yeah i just have like two things i think it's just gonna go past the end of the hair is gonna be past the um, end of the canvas so just add these two okay and the next one just like the first one goes past here but the second one's gonna start underneath the um, like here it's okay. gonna start behind the face and just erase watch on stuff so for shady in the okay. back of the hair is gonna be a bit harder so basically okay, never mind it might be easier but like just like outline the head because it's like that just outline the head Okay. And then, like, make sure it stays the same throughout. And then, like... <laughs> what? I don't know, just put, so, like... Like, this thing. I like that. And the behind. I don't know, around there. I think it has to be a bit higher up for you. <laughs> I don't know how to oh. describe the positioning of this. Was supposed to be like the um, ribbon for his like bun at the top. Okay. And then like, just add like, a small circle around it. It's just like wide in here, and then do a circle. Yeah. 
Oh boy. <laughs> you got it, you got it. <laughs> okay. So for this one, like, add a straight line down. Like, I don't know what angle this is, but like, yeah, just a straight line down. Okay. And then for the other one, just like another line between here. Okay. We're killing this. We're killing this. Yeah. <laughs> and then for the neck, just trace it. I don't think you need to erase it, but you do have to add like small details for them. The bandages later on. Add a line here that goes across. And then another line that starts here. And then it's gonna go across like this. Oh, mine, he, he, mine, he's got like, he's busting his titties out. Needs to be you. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be the next Yan okay. Yoshi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the next one is I like another one that's like parallel to both the lines here. I, okay. I don't know the distance. It's like pretty short. In your case, like make, you need to cross like, these two like this. Oh, uh, so this okay. one goes over. Yeah. Okay. And then it's going to go slightly above the neckline. So I add something here because that's sleep. And then, yeah, I like some diagonal line here like this. And then connect it okay. to the outer one of like here. Okay. Yeah, and then just erase whatever's behind that. Yeah, and then the other side do the same thing. Okay, we got some depth to the clothing here. That's a good trick. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And then next one, add just draw the shoulders. <laughs> Just like trace over the uh, outline. Sexy, broad, Australian. Like, yes. <laughs> and then, because I think there's another one, another one of those lines here. Like make it parallel to the first crossover robe thing. I don't know a lot of food okay. terms. Okay. Yep. I'm following. I'm following. I like do it for both sides. Right when the shoulder is about to drop, like right below that, add one line like this. It's gonna slope outwards because their titties. <laughs> oh, so that's like for their chest. Is that, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay, okay. I suppose to like, I think in your case, it's gonna be like outward. It's gonna end like, like diagonal like this way, but it's gonna be curved. Yeah. And I, I okay. like another line here because of clothing folds usually. Okay. Okay, okay, I see it, I see it. Yeah, and you're drawing, it's a bit smaller, so let me just draw like a shoulder here. So for the left shoulder, start here, and then that's like the sh clothing folds for the left shoulder. Okay, um, so like, and that? It's, it's gonna go like Almost. a bit inwards more, and then slopes downwards. Longer line's supposed to face the other way, like slant the other oh, way. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, yeah cause he'd be facing that way. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... So that's the sketch. I think that's enough, right? <laughs> it's just fought the end. Um, yeah! So, go to, like, the layer section. Like, okay. Yeah, and then you can unclick layer one so it doesn't show and then press add and lower opacity for layer two okay oh boy oh boy it's time for a line art <laughs> oh fuck dude you got this okay so like basic line art tips when i was starting out more i could not control the lines so i would just like Wait, my bad. Um, go press the plus button to make a new layer. Okay. Um, so, 
when I was first starting out, I like to do this first and then go back and erase it. Like, oh, okay. long strokes. So it looks clean. And. Oh, shit. And okay, so you even like go it. past where the line is going to be. Yeah, you can go past okay, it. Okay, I have a question. You don't I have, have a to... question about yeah. drawing. Are you Is your hand uh, like down on your like pad or is it like like are you resting your palm on it Does that makes sense uh usually yeah i don't know what to do what like to do for my line art it's like just going over the sketch except clean usually okay. i don't sketch <laughs> the line art's the first thing i draw <laughs> um okay wait is there something to be said for like uh, like, for example, connecting the chin. Like, how did you do... How did you make that look good? So, for the chin... Let me just redo it here. I do, like, even it out, smoothen it at the bottom. And then I erase okay. the hard lines. Okay. So, you, you draw then, like, two, like, kind of straight lines. And then in the middle, kind of make the... And I can round it out in the middle. Okay. So it's not like those goofy eyes, like sharp chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about like the weight of, of lines and the mouth and stuff like that? I see that like there's, it's like thicker around the edges. Oh, yeah. Right? So for the mouth, yeah, it's thicker around the edges and it's like thin in the middle. Like this is my first time, you know, you're like trying to draw like with doing line art properly with like the weight of your lines, I guess? Like, I think, like, I have the thing on where it's like, if you press harder, it's thicker, right? Yeah, yeah, like, pen so pressure. Are, yeah, are you, like, um, always being conscious of, like, the weight you're pressing kind of thing? For my art style, I usually don't care, aside from, like, specific parts, like, the mouth and eye. But, like... Okay, okay. Yeah, because, like, I'm usually doing animation now, so the line weight has to be the same. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna look so bad if I create right. the frame. So, for the eyes, is like, special because there's, like, I actually have to care a lot about the line weight. So, the bottom and t bottom is stays thin, and then it's gonna, like, gradually become thicker to the wings, like, like this. Okay. And then the top... I have like a slanted line here and then here's a very helpful tip like you can drag and drop and color it what <laughs> like because it's nice. like the line are there yeah i can like drag and color it and then add like the pupils and stuff oh also i have to care about line weight for the eyebrows Oh, like when if you should see like my old art, you'll see the most awful line quality <laughs> known to man. It's like the like the chicken scratch type like line quality. It was not good. Like I guess like connecting lines together and like I don't know. It just looks so good the way that they're. Connected. I feel like this is probably a step where a lot of beginner artists, like, it looks so bad. Like, maybe their sketch can look okay, but then doing the line art, like, you can actually really, like, fuck up a drawing. Mm, <laughs> yeah, like, it's like a whole meme where, like, the sketch looks amazing, and the line are just, like, goofy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, okay, so, <laughs> you just, I guess you just gotta keep drawing the lines until they, like, meet in the way you want, and then you kind of uh, clean it up? Yeah. And and that's Pretty better much. than like trying to precisely like follow it. It's like, like it's like bad because you're either gonna look like this or it's gonna be like Right. Right, which, yeah. That's not gonna look good. So it's just easy like it's gonna look better when to just do that instead. Right, okay. Also like you'll see me do like do a line undo line undo. <laughs> Right, so it's and better to, like, like, try and do one smooth line and undo it a bunch of times than, like, carefully. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. 
God damn, I can't do this. <laughs> you got this. Line art is hard. It took me a year to be able to get good line art. Okay, we are connecting this bitch. See, like, it's... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're so good. I, yes. I got this. Com yep. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> you got this. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, and then just... Do everything. And, like, the S. Like, it does have to exactly match the sketch. It just has to be, like, close enough and get the general structure down. So, how long have you been drawing for it's been seven years <laughs> i started in middle seven school oh like God. seriously i saw a awesome. what were you what were you drawing in middle school i was literally drawing my friends ocs <laughs> and that was it and then i moved on to my own ocs and i was like yeah i'll never draw fan art fan art is for losers <laughs> no <Here> wow <laughs> like I remember like drawing, finding MXTX and I was like, I will break my rule. And then I made Yelin Gage our channel. Like you can still see the old vids. You you broke your rule of no fan art for Lobing, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I was just obsessed with MDZS for a long time. And then I read oh, SBSSS. Right, right. So I see you keep talking about um like your portfolio or something so are you using your scum villain animatics in your portfolio yeah i am it's like, that's awesome so i have like you know i was like it's time for internships because i'm a rising junior and i'm scared like i want like the godly one like pixar dreamworks which is extremely competitive so i have to use all the best stuff which is my scum villain work that's Amazing. What kind of like jobs would you be doing as a junior artist or whatever for a, for an internship? Like, what would you actually be doing? I mean, I hope I get an animation internship. <laughs> like right now, I'm in a. I'm also doing graphic design. Like my current job, I'm like an editor oh, cool. at a small company right now. That's cool. Oh wait, but you like animating yeah. is what you really want to do. Um. Technically, I just want to be a YouTuber full time. Oh, fair. Hell yeah. <laughs> but like, I probably need an industry job. I mean, I worked in the film industry for a couple of years before I started doing YouTube. Oh, nice. Full time. Yeah. Wait, what did you work on before doing YouTube full time? Like... I worked in the camera department. And so I did some assistant camera stuff for like hallmark movies <laughs> oh nice and i also did i worked in the lighting department because it's way easier to get into lighting than camera because they always need people to help with lighting <laughs> but that is it's such see. a hard job like you're always That's picking up heavy know. lights and stuff oh <laughs> so it's like a bunch of physical labor Yes, definitely. You also have a lot of downtime where you can just like sit and hang out. But the thing that sucks is that it's like when they are filming the scenes, you can't like be on set. Like your job is done. Like you help set up the scenes and then the most interesting part, you have to go like hide in the truck. <laughs> oh, rip. <laughs> but when you're working camera, you're there for the most exciting parts of the scenes. But there's like so much pressure, like, oh my God. Oh, yeah, I couldn't imagine, like, actually, like, freaking the new, new BL anime, right? Like, they, like, go into the, um, camera work stuff, too, right? Yeah. <coughs> Twilight Out like, of is Focus. It, like, yeah. Yeah, Twilight <laughs> Out of Focus. Is that, like, accurate to, like, the, how it works in real life? It's like pretty accurate, especially for like amateur stuff. Just like on like professional sets, like the Hallmark sets that I worked on, there's just like a billion more people. Like there are like three cameras going at once and each camera team has like an operator and an assistant and a second assistant and even a, a trainee assistant. Like there's just so many people. Dang. That's, that's, that seems hard to organize. Yeah, and the days are so long. Like, it's a minimum 12-hour day. 
12 hours? Oh my god. Yeah, minimum. Like, they almost always minimum? go over that. Yeah. Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> but if they go over 12 hours, you immediately start getting paid overtime, so you can make, like, a fucking ton of money. Which was I, sweet, but it's just, like, nice. hard. Like, it's just hard work. Like, you're out- like, often you're outside if you're not working on, like, a, in a studio. And it's very stressful. Mm. So, I, I liked doing it. Like, there was one summer I did it a lot. Like, aside from, like, my younger cousins, you're, like, the first person I'm actually teaching. And I bet you a bunch of other people watching this video are gonna try and follow along. Probably. And it'll be wholesome as fuck. <laughs> You're better at line art than how I was when I was starting. God damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. What the heck? <laughs> you can't see me sweating like crazy right now. Like, <gasps> you got no, this. It's actually enjoyable. Like, this is like, it's like relaxing to do this part, kind of. Yeah, it's like satisfying too. And then you zoom out, and I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you have the command Z button. Yeah, fuck. Oh my god. So, do you know- wait, do you normally draw in another program? Yeah, I usually use Clip Studio Paint. Oh, okay. But I thought it would be easier to teach you if I was on the same program as you. Yeah, definitely. Alright guys, this is the finished line art. I can't believe that I actually drew this. Make sure you watch part two on Yi's channel. The link is down below. He taught me how to color and shade, little tricks with adding highlights and all kinds of stuff. It was such an incredible experience getting to do this and it totally sparked a bunch of inspiration for me to learn drawing. Thank you so much Yi for all of your time and help teaching me to draw Hualien and thank you for watching this video. Bye!